Sonoma State President Judy Sakaki was part of a group of Cal State Presidents who met with a top aide from the Assembly Speaker's office in February to say they had lost confidence in the system chancellor over his handling of a sexual harassment case, the Times has learned. Sakaki now faces a revolt from some faculty on the Academic Senate at her own campus who are drafting a resolution for a no-confidence vote in her leadership after a Times investigation detailed accusations of sexual harassment and retaliation involving Sakaki and her husband. Records show that just weeks before the February 15 meeting with Assemblyman Anthony Rendon's office, Sakaki signed an agreement that paid $600,000 to settle a legal claim filed by a former provost who reported the harassment allegations against the president's husband, lobbyist Patrick McCallum, and A. A Rendon spokeswoman confirmed that the meeting took place and said the speaker had been unaware of the settlement when Sakaki and four other CSU presidents met with his higher education aide. A Cal State alumnus, Rendon, D. Lakewood, is a member of the CSU Board of Trustees and shared his concerns about Chancellor Joseph I. Castro with other trustees during a closed-door meeting on February 17, his spokeswoman, Katie Talbot, told The Times. At the end of that day-long session, Castro announced his resignation over his handling of sexual harassment, bullying and retaliation accusations against a top administrator while he was president of Fresno State. During the meeting with Rendon's office, Sakaki and other presidents said they and other top administrators across the nation's largest four-year public university system had lost confidence in Castro, according to a campus president who took part in the discussion. We had lost confidence in, and L. Sakaki could not be immediately reached for comment Wednesday morning. Sakaki and McCallum previously issued statements to the Times saying they had done nothing wrong. Sakaki denied retaliating against then-provost Lisa Vollendorf, declaring that the accusations are utterly without basis. In January, Sakaki signed a settlement agreement with Vollendorf, who alleged she faced retaliation from Sakaki, her boss, after she reported the sexual harassment accusations about McCallum to the CSU General Counsel, records in the case show. McCallum is a prominent higher education lobbyist and official campus volunteer who has attended many university events with his wife. The disclosures have unleashed simmering tensions on the Sonoma campus, where faculty leaders have voiced concerns about dropping student enrollment and whether Sakaki can continue leading the campus in light of the scandal involving her and her husband.